Hi friends, today I am going to explain about SQL SH authentication. Uh, earlier video, I was uh, logging with uh, SQL SH and hostname. Uh, I didn't provide any username password. So in this video, we will uh, try to uh, authentic I mean, authenticate that uh, SQL SH login. So here you can see my full cluster details. So uh, and also see I log in uh, SQL SH without username password. Let me describe a uh, key spaces. See here uh, we have seven key spaces. These are by default key spaces. Uh, in these uh, seven key spaces, system authentication uh, key space that is a uh, system underscore auth uh, key space is used Cassandra authorization uh, uh, while uh, uh, enabling the authentication. We are using uh, authentication and authorization. Uh, authorization is a Cassandra authorization. Let me show you how to enable uh, authentication uh, uh, through configuration. Uh, go to conf directory. Open uh, uh, Cassandra.yml. This is the file we have to uh, configure. Uh, authentication and authorization authenticator password authenticator authorizer Cassandra authorizer so these two configurations we have to um, change friends before it was all allowed means without password uh, without authorization it will uh, log in into SQL SS once updated the configuration we have to do same configuration for all other servers also uh, friends i skipped uh, editing uh, all other uh, uh, servers yml file uh, so after edited uh, all servers yml file i am restarting cassandra one by one node so once all nodes are up we will check the status once all nodes are up, we'll uh, check uh, uh, logging into SQL SH, how it is going to log in. See, let me start uh, Cassandra. So Cassandra started. Uh, so all the nodes are up, one node is down. So let me check that status also. So still it was uh, uh, starting. Wait for a few more seconds. So now uh, all nodes are up and normal. So now we will try uh, SQL SH login. Dot uh, SQL SH space hostname. See friends, it is uh, not able to log in because uh, we enabled uh, authorization or authentication. Uh, so now we have to provide username password. The SQL SH uh, with the uh, Cassandra authorization uh, username password by default Cassandra. So I am providing uh, Cassandra Cassandra here username Cassandra password Cassandra so see now I am able to log in this is the command to use uh, uh, login SQL SH username is uh, uh, Cassandra password is Cassandra 
by default once we log in oh, we can change according to our requirement so let me uh, describe the key space sorry key spaces so see here we have uh, system authentication key space so system at key space uh, we have to uh, edit this one because this is a simple strategy uh, with the replication factor one so our cluster having two dcs so more than one dc means we have to change our uh, um, class uh, simple strategy to network topology strategy and uh, replication factor also based on dc wise we have to replicate our replication factor for that we have to remove replication uh, equal to one now we have to give uh, bng colon 2 and uh, uh, hyd colon 2 I am altering uh, key space uh, friends see it is altered also written one warning when increasing a replication factor you need to run a full repair to distribute the data if you run uh, a full repair uh, based on replication factor data will be distributed across the cluster otherwise uh, uh, whatever uh, old replication uh, same will be uh, available in uh, um, cluster while uh, uh, reading uh, data we will get uh, uh, some discrepancy uh, uh, this is just a warning uh, this was not stopped uh, uh, altering my key space uh, let me describe uh, once again uh, uh, key space so we can see here uh, our uh, key space uh, uh, altered successfully with the replication new replication factors and uh, network topology we'll see uh, some uh, status commands uh, by using uh, node tool uh, this is a uh, node tool status uh, we'll check uh, node tool uh, compaction stats by using compaction stats see this is the command uh, we have to use uh, for uh, seeing compaction status see zero uh, task spending so compaction is uh, not running anything we'll check tp stats TP stats in thread pool stats. Thread pool stats, uh, nothing is running or nothing is active. So, all are uh, completed uh, state only. So, we can see uh, 
nothing is active and uh, pending all are completed and also nothing is blocked nothing is all time blocked also uh, these are the uh, main uh, uh, commands uh, for node tool in Cassandra, uh, one of the wonderful features is uh, once you alter uh, any key space or data, it will uh, uh, spontaneously distribute across the all the nodes in a cluster. Now we'll check uh, before uh, uh, we have altered uh, uh, system authentication key space. So we'll check. Uh, uh, login from uh, node 2 so I just log into login into SQL SH uh, from node 2 so I described the key space see here it was uh, updated as per our uh, requirement so we can check in another node also So we'll check in another DC first node. So this is a second DC first node, node 4. So we'll check here. It was updated uh, uh, properly. Uh, that's it friends. Thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel.